Good evening. Hello. Hello, good evening. Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Walter. How are you? Well, I'm fine, teacher. I'm very good. Ready for the class? Excuse me? Are you ready for the class? Are you ready for the class? Sí, le escucho cortado. No sé si usted me escucha bien. I do. Let me check on something. Let's okay, see. ahorita, yes, yes. Okay. Are you ready for the class? Yes, teacher. I'm number Ooh, one. <laughs> yeah, you are the first one today. Oh, and today, uh, very good in my work. No problem. Uh, uh, attractive is my work and relax. So, so. Oh, really? That's nice. Yes, teacher. And yesterday, um, and we had a celebrity and Father Day. Okay, we have the celebration. Or we celebrated. We celebrated. We celebrated uh, uh, for a date, uh, uh, a family. Oh, really? That's nice. Yes. That's nice. It's yeah. The, uh, uh, and we had uh, uh, a lunch. Oh, really? That's nice. A lunch with the family, I imagine. Yeah. Uh, uh, the family uh, uh, with the. Uh, uh, we uh, father in law. Oh, you went to your father in law. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 Oops, I'm losing you, Walter. Yep, I love you. Oh, that now you're back. In my my, my brother-in-law. Uh huh. My brother. -in -law. Oops, I think we are having technical problems. Now let's see. I got a couple of ladies here who skipped my class the other day. Mm -hmm. And I think it was by mutual accord because Janita wasn't in the class, Roxana wasn't in the class, Martha wasn't in the class either. Mm -hmm. Explanation, ladies. Thank you, Walter. I'm sorry, but I lost you for a minute. We will talk later, Walter. And remember, you have a one-on-one -on -one tonight with me, Walter. 
Excuse me, teacher, and my connection the internet uh, the problem. Yeah, yeah. At the end of the class, you will talk to me, remember. Te acuerdas que al final de la clase vamos a conversar. Okay, teacher. Okay. Perfect. Now, let's see. Okay, I need to see what's up. Roxana, you tell me. Explain to me what happened on Wednesday. Wednesday. I didn't have internet, teacher. Aha. The old one, the old trusty one. It's the first time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's the first time you give me that excuse. No, no. But for example, uh, when when I was working in my my home, uh -huh. uh, sometimes in the day, uh, the um, ay, la electricidad, the electrician, no, no sé cómo se dice. No, la the electricity. The electricity is se, se corta. Oh, really? Yeah. There are blackouts? My, sorry? There are blackouts? Blackout? Es un apagón. Mm -hmm. Or maybe uh, sometimes I had a, a, inter, a internet inestable. Unstable. Unstable. So I don't know what happened. Unstable, unstable internet connection. Unstable internet connection. Yep. So, and once day I didn't have internet for a couple of hours. Uh huh. And that's why. That's the I... excuse. Uh huh. No, no, it's excuse. It's a reason then. That's the reason. Yeah. That's the reason. Or you tell that's me, yeah, reason. you can tell me that's why. Okay, that's... we'll try to relieve you. And tell me, how was yesterday? Yesterday it was a um, eh, raro, día raro, raro. Weird, no, weird, a weird, weird. yeah, a weird, weird day. day. Eh, because Why? all day I I I was uh, taking a nap, <laughs> and the after in the afternoon I went to the hospital with my best friend because uh, his you know her son. Uh, is is uh, sick. Okay. And we went to the hospital, so it's it was a weird. Yeah, weird day. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll we'll try. We'll make the best effort to believe you. And okay. I uh -huh. I was working for uh, three hours, I think. When yesterday? Because, yeah, yesterday, because. Um, some chief are uh, some what? chief jefes. Okay, chief? some bosses, bosses. Some bosses are calling me at WhatsApp or my ex extension. No sé cómo se dice. Yeah, my extension, my line. My line, and I, I tried to take an arrest, but I, I was working. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry guys, it's just that I just realized that some friend of mine of mine got uh, it's their anniversary. And I just found out in a couple of a couple friends of mine, it's their anniversary today. Um. And I just found out. But the thing, the special thing is that he is like like 80 something and she's 70 something adult so yeah. adult <laughs> yeah i mean that's something to admire that's strange I for, at least. for a moment i think i thought that uh, it was your True. anniversary oh no 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 and no. i remember i remember the last problem yeah. My wife is mad with me. <laughs> at me. At me. At me. Ash, at me. Yeah, no, I don't have that problem no more. I don't forget it. You know? 
since I got the, the, the Google Calendar, I never forget that. <laughs> okay. I have it set into my account and no problems. Nice. Yeah. No. How we was your Father's Day, best. teacher? Let me see. What did I do yesterday? Hmm. Nothing. <laughs> hmm. No, actually, my sister came over. Uh, she took us to Suchitoto. <laughs> and Janira goes like, what? A nice place. Yeah, you know, just for a little something. And then back home, I mean, nothing special. The thing is this, uh, here in my house, they do not celebrate. For the religion? Yeah, because due to their religion, they do not celebrate anything. And, oh. you know, so you get used to it after you so many years. money. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Don't even remind me about money. Man, that's terrible, terrible. <laughs> So let's see. Well, thank you very much, Roxana. Nice talking to you. Thank you. Oops, my gosh. Almost did a mistake. Okay, now let's see, Janira, your turn. Tell me, Janira. Hi, teacher. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Great. Now tell me, why weren't you in my class the other day? Come on. Well, teacher, I I work this day. I have to work. I have to, to, to work this day. I that finish, day, that day. That day, I finish uh -huh. uh, close to 11. 11 p.m.? Yes, because we made a close in the software, in the P. And Closing. Then Closing, yes, and then it's a, uh, uh, I don't know, who do you say, a uh, big process. You need to okay. make um, backup to database. And... Okay, no, 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 I'm sorry. You need to backup database. Okay, you need to backup database and run some process and take care because it's a, um, the be careful. Backup. Be careful. be careful because it's delicate because it's delicate well not delicate sensitive perhaps yes sensitive if you don't if you say something bad you can come back you can back or regret oh, really yes you can go back no only yeah. restore the database and start again oh do the whole process again yes ouch so it's not easy no it's not easy and it's delicate it's sensible okay well let me see, let me see. Well, well well thank you that was nice i accept your excuses my dear now tell me how was yesterday for you well i work again <laughs> i work all day I have Oh, really? You have to work yesterday? Yes, I have a term and I work. A chief? Uh, a no. chief. A chief. Un turno. Un turno. Ah, okay. Trabajo, una jornada. I have a, a chief. I have a, a chief. Because, you know, if, if, uh, it's, if it's a holiday here, it's not a holiday in another country. And then... Um, in Dominica, in Republic Dominican, in the Do no Dominican Republic. In Dominican Republic, wa wasn't a holiday, and then uh, was my chief, and I work, and I and have, to, have work. to work. I yes. have to. I have to okay, work. Okay, well. So, but you're gonna get extra payment because when you work on holidays, we get extra. really, really. No, come on, teacher. No. Thank you. No this is my payment. Thank you. Oh, really? Yes. Ooh. Interesting. Yeah, because I mean, some companies, if they make you work on a holiday here, like a, 
well, call centers work like that. No, it works maybe on, on a holiday maybe. from here, they pay you double, and if you work no. sometimes triple. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Maybe give me another day for reposition. Oh, okay. yeah. a compensatory. Compensatory, but maybe in I don't know two weeks, maybe because my boss is in vacation. In vacation. Oh, really? Yes. So nice for your boss then. Yes, yeah, nice for for him, for him. For him. Well, that's life, my dear. That's in the Roxana, way it is. In, in Roxana, talk with him about with our conversation. I know Roxana. Oh, really? I know. Oh really? Ah, <laughs> that's interesting. So. Roxana, you have become a sneaky girl. I don't know Oops. what I'm <laughs> saying, Janira. <laughs> My boss oh. said me that you talk with him. No, oh. I think uh -huh. I think that, uh -huh. it was, that, that was that was it sneaky was, of you. No, I think that Ana Belinda told you oh, because okay. she is. Well, because oh, wow. was in... <laughs> okay, I wanna know. I wanna know. I wanna know who's the snitch. My boss. Do you know the word? Do you know the word snitch? snitch. No. Um. So I wanna know who's the snitch. Yeah. So thank you, Janira. Now we're gonna talk with Ana Belinda. Ana Belinda, hello. <laughs> Good evening, teacher. Good evening. What's your defense? You know, this is getting interesting. Esto se está poniendo interesante. There's a phrase for this. Hay una frase para esto. Look, it's an old phrase. The She's plot, liar. The plot thickens. Who? Roxana? The plot or me? thickens. Bon. You know, that, that phrase means... Uh, hmm. Nosotros decimos, ah, se pone interesante. Okay. In English, you say, mmm, the plot thickens. The plot thickens. Yeah. So tell me, Marta, why, why weren't you in the class last Thursday? No, Wednesday. I was a meeting teacher. I was uh, in a meeting. In a meeting. Oh, really? In a meeting, yes. I, I out late. In, oh, really? It's nine, yes. I, I finish it late at night. I finish. I finish it. Okay, I finish. Finish it. Late, finish it. Late, late, late at, at night. night. Late at yeah. night. Yeah. Okay, what about I yesterday? What did you do? What did you do yesterday, Marta? No celebrate too. I stay in my house. Home all day. No, okay. no, nothing special. I didn't celebrate either. Either. I didn't okay. celebrate either. Recuerde que cuando es una negativa no estamos diciendo también, estamos diciendo tampoco. Okay. And it's like this. I didn't celebrate I didn't either. Celebrate either. Yep. Yeah. That's the okay. way we say it. Well, thank you, Marta, and welcome thank, to the class. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you, my dear. Let's see, let's see. We've got more people. Ambar, now it's your turn, Ambar. Hello, how are you? How are you, teacher? I'm fine. What about you? Here, here, missing you guys. You were not in my class last Wednesday, were you? Yes, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't like. <laughs> oh, you don't I like the class. Asleep. Oh, <laughs> oh. I oh, feel you fell asleep? asleep early on Wednesday. Sorry. Oh, really? Well, that's good. You had a rest, but oh, my minutes, my minutes. Come on. Let's see, let's see. Well, the good thing is that you're here. And tell me, what did you do yesterday, Amber? Yesterday well, was a day off. I didn't do anything in special because uh, only I was in my house with my mom okay. and 
In yes, this case, you say, say in this case, I'm sorry, Amber. If I ask you, uh, what did you do? And you tell me, oh, nothing is special. You can say it like this, look. You can say, no much. No much? No much. Yes. Yeah, you can say, oh, no much. That means uh, nothing special. Okay. Well, yesterday, no much. Uh, only I was with my mom and how do you say pedi delivery? Oh, really? You ask for delivery? Yes, uh, Ana ceviche because it's my yeah. favorite food. Oh, really? That's nice. That's your favorite dish. Yes. That's great. That's great. Well, yes. thank you, Marta, and welcome to the class. Marta. I'm sorry, I'm bad. <laughs> my bad. I don't know. Sorry, I no was problem. reading something here. Teacher, okay. you need to be uh, careful because if you call uh, to your wife when another oh. name, she yeah, can I'm there. kill you. Yeah, I'm I'm dead meat. You have a case. lot of problems. Yeah. yeah. I am dead meat in that case. Yes. And that, that, don't worry, don't worry. That never happens to me. Yeah, I mean there are there are ways to avoid that. That I'm a little now I think that your arm maybe wasn't an accident. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, look Did at you this forget girl. some uh, something special? No, not really, not really, not really. You are evil ladies. <laughs> no, now I'm gonna talk with guys. It's safer for me. Hey, Wilfredo, how are you? Hi, teacher. Tell me, Wilfredo, how was yesterday? It was good, teacher. Very, very good because I didn't go to work. And in the morning, my, my son was playing soccer. He, he had a match in the morning. Really? Then, yeah. Then, uh, when I come back at home, my oldest son prepared yeah. a roast beef for me. Oh, prepare. 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 Yeah. Roast. And we we ate together at home. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's yeah. excellent. That's excellent. Yeah. Because oh, hey, for you. we all get, we always um, celebrate uh, birthdays of another reunion. Uh, making roast beef it is my okay. favorite. My favorite dish. Oh, um, that's nice! So they know that if they want to get in good terms with you, roast beef is the key. Yeah, it is delicious for me. Milton is good. Is your point? Yeah. That's yeah. Nice. That's nice. yeah. But in the afternoon, I I get a a large. Uh, how do you say siesta, teacher? In English? Nap. I'm sorry. Nap. Nap. I'm okay. Okay, I didn't remember. But uh, when I Wake up. Woke up. Was very, woke up. When I woke up, because woke up. it's in fact. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um, it was 6 p.m. Oh, cool. yeah. yeah. So you really rested. Yeah. I felt very, very nice because we, we enjoyed together as a family teacher. Sometimes we we can go another another places, but I prefer celebrate together with my family at home. That's excellent. Yeah. I mean, what about you, teacher? Me. I, um, I heard I heard you that you didn't have a celebration. 
celebrate? No, we, we don't. Just home, then we went to Suchitoto for a little while, just a couple of hours. Then back home, let's see, then well, what else, what else, what else? Hmm. Ah, man, yeah, I just remember. My sister-in-law prepared a uh, panes con pollo. And it's not good for me. Eso no fue nada raro, teacher. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's the same. And they kill it if they give me a, a refreshment like tamarindo. I hate that. Nah. Well, Wilfredo got frozen, my friend. Let's see if we get you back because your image is like frozen. Manera, right? teacher, how do you say? Your way. Yeah, I have trouble teaching with my internet. Yeah, because the image is frozen, my friend. I, I hope to, to resolve. Yeah. No problem, no but problem. If the problem continues, I'm going to get connection with my cell phone teacher. Yeah, otherwise, uh, turn off your camera for a little while. It helps. So, no pague la camera. My cell phone teacher. Okay. 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 Okay, let's see. Let's see who else is around. Hey, Fernando, how are you? Hey, teacher. Fine. Fine. I'm tired. I'm tired. Yes, I I'm just finished. I just finished my work with. Yeah, well, and I haven't had dinner yet. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Yeah, really bad. Yeah, that's bad. And tell me, how was yesterday for you? Yesterday, uh, I was celebrating Father's Day with my family. Okay, nice. And we had the breakfast at home, and they gave me some gift. And oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> and we went out to lunch. To have lunch. Ah, to have lunch. We went out That's to have nice. lunch. That's yes. nice. What did you have for lunch? Tell me. Uh, I I ate um, half pound of meat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, it was, half, it was pound of, half pound of meat, maybe a little. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah, a beautiful it, piece of meat. This is the reason I, I haven't had a dinner. <laughs> yeah. Uh, until I satisfy. Okay. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. But wow, half a pound of meat, man, that's cool. <laughs> still, still, I, I, I am satisfied. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. Well, yeah, it was a great day. Excellent, nice, congratulations. Thank you Thank for you. coming to the class. Let's see now, ladies. Elvia, hello, Elvia, how are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Okay, tell me, how was yesterday for you, Elvia? What did you do yesterday? Relaxing at home and celebrating mm -hmm. Father's Day to make brother. Oh, to my brother? Making, to my brother, um, making tacos, eating cake. And oh, cool. How do you say reventando una piñata? Well, actually, there's not a word for piñata in English. Realmente no hay una palabra para eso en inglés. Es piñata. Uh, okay. So you broke a piñata. That's nice. Broke. So you had a big celebration. <laughs> yes. That's cool. These people when, really when know family. how to party. That's nice. Oh, guys. Guys, let me get the attendance before we move on. Please. Ambar Eli Alfaro Gomez. Present teacher. Okay, uh, Andrea Beatriz Rendero Cibrián. Eduardo Ademir Noyola Brito. Present teacher. Elvia Chanet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present teacher. Pausto Antonio Landaverde López. 
present teacher. Thank you, Fausto. Welcome. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. <coughs> present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Jocelyn Alexandra Fuentes Molina. Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas. Present teacher. Thank you, Carla. Leslie Fernández Ochoa. Linda Marlene Acosta Barrera. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Marta Patricia Díaz González. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Present teacher. Thank you. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Thank you. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. And Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you, guys. And Sandra Beatriz Hernandez Martinez. Okie dokie. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see. Gosh, it's hot today. Terribly hot. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So, Edward, what about you, my friend? How was yesterday for you? What did you do, man? Good evening, guys. Good evening, teacher. Um, I come from work um Ooh. yesterday i went to supermarket uh -huh. i i bought i bought my favorite um meat corte corte de carne ¿cómo se dice? yeah yeah cut 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 uh cut meat um entraña <laughs> oh really that's nice uh, yeah very soft Ah uh, yes, very soft. Um, and after I cooked my my meat, <laughs> I cooked. I cooked. Remember, remember. Ed after K. Recuerde, ed después de K suena como T. Cooked. 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 Okay, I cooked my meat and longaniza. ¿Cómo dice? Oh man, you got me there. I think that's a cool. It's a type of sausages, no? Saus sausages. sausages, no? Ah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, because when it comes to 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 wow. I'm not that good with the vocabulary. I, I accept that. Perdón, no es que lo soy sincero. Con el embutido está. I am not good. Ah. Uh, okay. Um. And. Um, con, accompanied okay. um, with two beers. <laughs> okay, tell me, what's your favorite brand of beer? Sorry? What's your favorite brand? ¿Cuál es su marca favorita? Oh, uh, Pilsener. Pilsen, so you like Pilsen. Pilsen. That's a lager or a Pilsen? No, a Pilsen, I guess. Pilsener. Oh, really? You like those ones? Um, it's good, it's good. Yeah. It's um, very, very cool. Is is excellent, the flower. The flavor. Flavor, flavor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a little bit soft. In my case, I like them bitter. You know, it's almost bitter. Um, Amaras. Uh, 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 Hace poco probé la Michel, Michel, Michel extra. Algo that's, así. that's water, my friend. That's water. <laughs> the, the same side, my my father. <laughs> yeah, that's Teacher. water. Do yeah, you like water? Regia? Uh, no much. I mean, I, I take it, yeah. I can take it. Or Suprema. Ah, Suprema, Suprema, Suprema. I like, su I like Supremas. I like... Uh, Carlsberg, I love Carlsberg. Oh. 
Y en Guatemala, en Guatemala, um, they have um, que ver, the name is este. La gallo. Uh, no, nah, yes, yes, no, but es es este la. Um, it's, it's the same uh, Miller draft, uh, dorada draft, dorada draft. Oh, I know that one. Yeah, it's soft. It's very soft. And we swag. Yeah, those are very soft. I like them bitter and a little bit strong. Because I mean, uh, those, those I like chicha, you, teacher. What? <laughs> Chaparro. No, no. The thing is that if you give me something pretty soft, like Michelob or like uh, Miller, and I mean, what? I can take 10 of those ones and that's. I don't feel nothing. So uh, I prefer something stronger. And actually, I don't like to drink that much. What I like is the taste in the mouth. It's not about to take the big quantity. That's why teacher, I like them strong. Teacher, he likes yeah. uh, Cadejo? Yeah, sure. The, <laughs> the, okay, let's see. Cadejo's got five different uh, ah, flavors, very, right? very, very different. A lot of different. If, if we got, uh, yeah, but the, in bitterness, in bitterness, and amargur, and amargur, ah. I like uh, up between the third one and the fourth. Entre la, la suegra. La cuarta. La, en, entre la tercera y la cuarta más amarga are the ones that I like. Ah, okay, <laughs> okay. This, the yeah. soft one, um, not that much. I remember no. that the last time I taste um, la suegra, creo que se llama. Eh, la hija de Pu, la hija de Pu. No, but this is. <laughs> Yo pensé que iba a decir. No. Uh, this is the, the name. name. This is the name. Yeah, the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what an interesting conversation you got, guys. <laughs> Okay, okay. Thank you, Edward. Let's move on. Let's move on because, you know, these people is getting excited. Let's move on. Thank teacher? you very much. Yes? Teacher, how do you say se, se puso bueno? <laughs> yeah. Well, to actually, me, it got, me, no. I mean, it got, uh, it got interesting, actually, you know? Agarró yeah. Por el cañal, ponele, ¿no? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it got pretty interesting. Let's move on. Let's move on, okay? Because I got people here that are too serious. Like, you know, uh, Carlos is like, oh my gosh, with these people. I cannot understand them. Hello, Carlos. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How was yesterday for you, Carlos? Tell me. Okay. Um, yesterday, my family was celebrating Father's Day to me. Um, okay. But we have we have spent more time that we thought uh, because at the restaurant uh, um, the self service was um, uh, very crowded. Uh, yeah. We we have we has take a lot take the lunch at two o'clock p.m. Um, two p.m. at two p.m. Two p.m. But. Uh, that is, it, the, the, the taste was, uh, was very, very good, teacher. Um, oh, okay, so I mean, I'm, I'm going to ask you something. Then you mean that it was, it was worth it. It was worth it. Worth it. Okay, that's worth it. Um, then uh, in the afternoon, we, we went to Guayua. Um, okay. And today I'm I working, but but more relaxing day because I work from my house. Okay, so oh yeah, today you are in Guayua. Yes. Yeah, yes. I can tell it's a different place. That's nice. Yes. So you are okay, teacher. Thank you. You're relaxed today. Well, welcome to the class and thank you, Carlos. Okay. Now let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who am I missing? Rita. Hello, teacher. Good evening. 
Good evening, Aurora. Tell me, how's everything? How was yesterday for you? I celebrate the Father's Day in house with my At family. Home. At home with my family. Okay, my, tell me, what was there in the celebration? My daughter made um, cook, cook, made? cook. You can say made. Made um, a breakfast. Okay, my cool. son made a lunch. And nice. me, um, delivery. Uh, oh, uh, and you order delivery. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's nice. So the kids, you got them cooking and you just order it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm rest. Okay. I was resting. I was resting. Okay. What you did was this. Look. You order some delivery. Order some delivery. That's nice. Okay, what did you order? Tell me. Chicken, uh, pizza. Um, no. Um, what do you say, bandeja? How do de, you say? How do you say bandeja de embutidos y quesos? Man. That's the word that I don't. Oh, come on! Now I gotta look for it. Hold on. Come on. I cannot pass it. Just give me a second. It's a try. With wine, Rita? <laughs> <laughs> no. Only oh. water. With wine is the issues. Okay, hold on. Mm. Yeah, it's uh, sausages. Sausages yeah. and, and cheese? But yeah. Variety. Sausages. Sausage variety. And variety. Variety, sauce, um, cheese. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, actually, it could have gone good with wine. Yeah, yeah but well, wine. But not it's, wine. That's bad. <laughs> that's Why, no, but let, let's not get there. Let's not get there. <laughs> Thank you very much, Linda. Rita, I'm sorry. Thank you very much. Let's okay. see, let's see who's next. Carla, hello, Carla. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm tired. Tired, I can imagine. And tell me, what about yesterday? Yesterday was your day off. What did you do yesterday? Cel celebration Father Day. I okay. went to eat were my sister okay we had seafood so so oh really seafood that's nice what did you have shrimps crabs fish 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 okay tell me uh, stuffed fish relleno pescado relleno how, how was your fish? Como, como pidió su pesca? Era sopa de... Oh, so, soup. So, uh -huh. Oh, that's nice. Soup. So, hmm. seafood. That's nice, that's nice. And at night, what did you do? Did you get home early? At night, what did you do at night? Did you get home early? Llegó a casa temprano? Quarter to eight. Quarter to eight. Oh, very early. Bastante temprano. Okay, well, that's nice. So you had a very calm celebration, unlike some of the group. Okay, thank you very much, Carla. Now let's see, I'm just missing Fausto. Hello, Fausto, how are you? Teacher, good evening. I'm fine. Good evening. Tell me, how was yesterday for you? Fausto. Oh, 
yesterday uh, uh, I was it. Oh, you went to it. Tell me, what did you have? Hello, hello. Oh, I think we got problems with the connection, Fausto. I don't hear you. Internet. Yep, I don't My hear you. I'm so sorry. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. Let's see, we will talk later. Francisco Eduardo, hello, good evening. Hello, teacher, good evening. How are you? Uh, I went to work, teacher. Yesterday? <laughs> afternoon. Yes. Ouch. That's bad, that's bad. No celebration. <laughs> yeah, you know it's Edward's fault. Uh, repeat, teacher. It's Edward's fault. Es culpa de Edward. <laughs> yes, teacher. <laughs> yeah, he told me. He told me. Él me dijo, yeah. I, I didn't want to snitch, but he told me, you know. Yo no quería decir, but. Okay. So you had to work yesterday. Teacher, how, how do you say? Es muy patronal. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, it's bozy. <laughs> Oh, okay, Well, you know, when you get married, you get used to that. Nada que ver con <laughs> okay, well, I'm so sorry that you have to work, but you know, that's the way it is, my friend. Welcome to the class, okay, guys. Sure. Welcome, everybody. And, well, it's always good to have long conversations. And remember, step by step, we are getting longer conversations. Poco a poco vamos llegando a longer conversations with each one of you. That's why, if you remember, right at the beginning of the course, I used to spend in this activity just 20 minutes. Al inicio del curso, pasamos esta actividad a maximum of 20 minutes. Now, if you notice, it has taken us 45 minutes, which is good. That means that you are speaking more. And that's actually great. And the interaction is very nice. Let's see. Oh, Sylvia, hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hello. I'm good. Hello, and you? Sylvia. I'm just great. Tell me, yesterday, we are asking everybody, how was yesterday? Uh, yesterday, it was it was good. I okay. just worked. You have to work, right? Yes, I had to work. How was work? Um, it was a little hectic. But oh, really? everything's fine, yes. Yeah, I can imagine to to do to I celebration, to right? Work. Yeah, yes. that's terrible. That's pretty, pretty terrible. But you know, that's the way it is. Así nos toca. Yes. Okay, welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Now let's see, guys. Uh, let me check on something that I wanted to talk to you. Mencionarles, let's see. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're going to find. Okay, okay, let's see. Perfect. Oh. Now, 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 just with Wilfredo, where are you, Wilfredo? Wilfredo is gone. I need to talk to him. Let me see if I can. Ouch, 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 ouch. Just a second, guys. Okay. Now, let's see, guys. Well, Yesterday was a day off, but sometimes we need to ask for permission. Do you remember that the other day we were we were talking about how to ask for permission? How what was the the process in each company? I remember we were talking about that. And today, in the in today's class, in the conversation, we are going to talk a little bit more about it. Okay. Remember that we are working in the manual and Page number 43, okay? And the topic is 
We are talking about company procedures and policies. You remember? Okay, now we are going to have the conversation part because then we are going to get into the grammar. The grammar for today is going to be awesome. You will like it, I know for sure. Now, let me share with you the conversation, guys. So all of you can see. Okay, the conversation goes like this. Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hank. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you. First, I repeat. Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hank. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you. First, okay, guys. It's a very short conversation. I'm going to divide you in pairs and you are going to have just three minutes. It's very easy. Okay, you are going to have three minutes to practice it. Let me see, there's going to be a group of three members. Okay. There we go. Okay, guys, please jump in. Okay, let's go check on these guys. Let's see. And welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Han. Do you know the procedure and rules of our company? Do not just see, sir. Come on, okay. No, not yet, sir. I see, teacher. No, not yet, sir. No, not yet, sir. No, not yet, sir. Okay, the pause. No, not yet, sir. No, not yet, sir. Perfect. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you. First. Right. Okay. Good. Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hank. To request a permission. Sounds good. I will explain them to you first. Okay. Hey, hello, Ambar. Are you ready to present your product? Uh, I I don't know. <laughs> Not each. <laughs> Be ready for Monday. Okay. Tisha. Yes. Uh, how do you pronounce procedures? Procedures. Procedures. 
Procedure. Procedures. Thanks. Where do you want to start? What about how to request to permission? Sound good. I will explain them to you. First. What about? What about, Edward? Oh, what about what how about? to request Sounds. a permission? Janira. Sound. Sound. <clears throat> Sound. Janira, you ready to present your product today? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, cool. You're going to be first. Okay. Again. Okay. Heather? Good Good after. Ashley. And you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Han. Do you know the procedure and rules of our company? Sounds good. I will explain them to you first. Okay, ladies, are you ready to present your product today? <sighs> that means no. Okay. Elvia is like thinking, you need to make a presentation of a product. Okay, Sylvia and Elvia, you go on oh. Monday, okay? On Monday, teacher? Yep, Monday. Okay, thank you. I thought it was today. Okay. Yeah, it was today for you, Sylvia, but if you don't have it on Monday. Yes, please, teacher, on Monday. I'm going to be ready, and I'm sorry for this. No problem, no problem. Yes. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt. Roxana, you ready to present your product today? Not yet, but I would try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For me, it's okay. Okay, cool. Perfect. <laughs> Need more. <laughs> anyway. 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 <laughs> anyway. Or you can say it like this. You want to like dismiss. You can say it like ah, whatever. Pero miss, que no es como extra. No, dismiss, dismiss. Dismiss. Si lo quieres hacer así como que no importa, you say, oh, whatever. Mm, okay. Dismiss. No, dismiss it. No, I mean, if you want to make it like a, like if you are dismissing what I say, si lo quieres decir como que está dismissing. Man, I don't know how to say dismiss in Spanish. Yeah, that's the problem when I get into this class sometimes. I don't remember how to say something in Spanish. Descartar. Oh, okay. No, pero... Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Carlos and Fausto, please, let's do it. Carlos, you will start. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Han. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay. Where do you do, where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you first. Perfect. Thank you very much. It was very well done. Now, Elvia and Sylvia. Okay. You start, Elvia. Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hen. Do you know the procedure and rules of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request the permission? So good, I will explain them to you first. Sounds, sounds, Elvia. 
now, Fernando and Francisco. Fernando, you will start, please. Okay, teacher. Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Han. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, no that, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to, to request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you. First. Perfect. Very well done, guys. Now let's see, Edward and Janira. Who started, teacher? You. Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hank. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain to them to you first. Procedures. Procedures. Procedure. Like that. Perfect, Janita. Ambar and Rita, you start, Ambar. Okay. Give me one second, please. Okay. Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Ha. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you first. Very well done. Excellent pronunciation, ladies. Carla and Roxana, please. Carla, you will start. Good afternoon, Ashley, and, wel and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hank. Do you know the pro procedure and rules of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain then to you first. Okay, thank you. Martha, who was your partner, Martha? Wilfredo. Wilfredo, okay. Yeah. Martha and Wilfredo. Martha, you will start. Okay. Good afternoon, Ashley. And um, welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Han. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, not yet, Mrs. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sound good. I will explain them to you first. Sorry, thank you very much. And now, uh, Roxana, please help uh, Walter. And Roxana, you will start. Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Okay, teacher, we we'll start. Uh, thank you, Mr. Han. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, no, just for Okay, where do you want to start? What about how the request a uh, permission? Sounds cool. I will explain them to you. First. Okay, very well. Now, Roxana, rules, rules. You say rules. Not Spanish, R, remember, rules, rules. Twist your tongue. Rules. 
me la pronunció como R en español. Rules. Oh, rules. Yeah, rules. Thank you very much, guys. Now, let's see, let's see. Let me just check on something. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Okay. Let's see, let's see. I need to share with you a little something here, but before we share that little something there, Janita, where are you going? Oh, to sneak out on the, on the window. Right at the moment that you stand up, I called you, my lady. <laughs> I closed my window I... because it's a lot of... Um... Wind? Wind? No, um, ruido? Rain? Noise. Noise. Out. Oh, I thought you were sneaking. Like... <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> okay, Shanira, I need you to make your presentation today. Okay. For a chat? Here or what's up? Here, you need to make a presentation. Okay. On your product, do you remember? Yes, I remember. Let me okay. share my screen. Perfect. Ooh. Okay, Janita, your two minutes to start right now. Okay. Good evening, everybody. Let me give you a uh, context. When you use the platform, the bank platform for make or receive the payment, uh, you need to understand the file like uh, this with a, la, a long line with a sense, okay? And then I present a software for translate this. So save time and become more efficient. With help, you get it. A big force. When you get a plain text from the bank, try to understand that take a lot of time in a big effort because is made up of a long line with a sense. Remember the example like this? This file contains a customer supplier, identification, amount of, of transaction, date of transaction, and another information. So for take the smart decision, the best decision taking on time, say time and money, but what do you do for now? What is the better? Maybe you make a report. So you need to translate the plain text to something easy to understand. The, the companies need to know which customer or supplier has a pending payment or is up to date. We help you. We give you a software as a tool that facility this task easier and faster. We translate the plain text in an Excel data sheet, also include graphics. Which software? The Color Bank file is a window for application developed with a Visual Studio 2019 as a framework, using C Sharp as a language and MySQL as a database. Discover that is possible. Let me show more about the decoder. GUI. The decoder has a friendly and intuitive GUI. GUI is a graphical interface user. It's very easy to use. You load the file in plain text, save, and export. What about this, the software structure? This software was developed with a layer architecture to take advantage 
of role separation. It has five layers. Business is a logical in a software. Data is access to database. GUI is a user interface. Model is a gateway between business and data. Services, when you need to export, expose or consume services. This architect making easier when you need to apply or add something improvement or changes. Database. My, my SQL is a free database under licensed open source. It has no cost, so you save it. It's very easy to use. Also, it's very fast to, it's very fast database. Finally, you are able to send the result to Excel data sheet with a graphic that anybody can understand. Let me show you a video about this software. Blind text that contain customer supply identification, amount transaction, date transaction, and another information. So in this software, it's easy to use, load the file, save, and export to Excel. And you have a data sheet with data easy to understand with a graphic. Okay. Thanks Thank for your you. attention. If you have any question, I will be happy to answer them. Okay. Okay. What was your uh, what is the language you are using? You taught you said C sharp. Oh, really? Yes. It's a so that, it is in a Visual Studio framework. Yeah, that way you avoid needing to use uh, to, 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 to use the, the, what do you call it? HTML and you avoid also the, the binary, right? I'm sorry, I can hear you, teacher. I... That, way, that way you avoid using the, the, the binary language um not really no binary is a uh, c oh that's a... why you you avoid it for eso, usted no evita. Well, uh, yes of course <laughs> you avoid the... using the binary the binary language and you also avoid using the the, the, the html which tends to be more like um, repetitive oh well uh, the binary is um only for the processor because you give a uh, instruction like uh, move one, move two, yeah. move zero. It's more, it's more um, difficult, more hard, maybe. Yeah, in a way, in a way it is. Well, yeah, and of course, I mean, nowadays it's it's more advanced. When I learn how to. When I learned how to program, I was in a different area, of course, not your area. When I learned how to program, I was programming uh, binary trees. I was creating binary trees, but for controlling um, for controlling processes I, with, I, uh, with yes. heavy machines. Yes, I learned at, I learned at university, but only for processor, only in laboratory. Yeah, no, what I learned was mostly applied to mm, like a Arduino. No, 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 no. It's a different area. It's not computer programming. I was programming, but for PLCs. PLC, yes. Arduino is PLC. I was programming for PLC, but I learned, I mean, they taught me how to create the whole binary tree oh, by hand. 
Oh, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> At the yeah. National University, this is a practice. You made a, a, a program in a paper. Yeah, I did that when I was in second high school. Yeah. Oh, a lot of time ago. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit. A little bit. But we were working in a different area. Hey, nice presentation. Very good. Hey, guys, I'm sorry. It's not, don't worry. It's not necessary. I mean, Janiga did a pretty good job, but <laughs> it's not necessary for all of you to be like worried that I need to make a whole presentation like that. No, okay. No es necesario que todos hagamos la, la presentación. Ella tiene el recurso, y tiene un proceso hecho. It's easier for her. If you just stay here and you show me a drawing on a piece of paper, si usted se me pone enfrente, me pone un dibujo en una página de papel, and you explain it, that's what matters, okay? I mean, it's not, I'm not saying that it's bad what you did, Janita. It was perfect. He shows, but, he shows me it first for get, for you get a fair. No, I chose you first <laughs> it's, because it's a teacher. <laughs> the rest didn't prepare it. Me tocó primero porque los demás no me lo prepararon, no todos. Okay, That's fine. <laughs> mm. Okay, now, please, Janira, making. 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 Efficient. Efficient. Uh, instead of, well, if you are making a formal presentation, you say information. If you are talking with your friends, you can just say info. Okay. For taking, for taking, for taking, report, report, develop, develop, structure, structure, data, data. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. Roxana, your turn, please. Nobody wants to pass after Janira, teacher. <laughs> it's your turn. Come on. I'm interested in you speaking, okay? But I'm in you speaking. Don't be, don't be. How do you say intimidada? Intimidated. I am intimidated. Intimidated. Close your eyes. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, don't worry. Ah. I will try. I don't have a good evening, everybody. Sorry. I'm not like Janira. I don't have a big presentation for you, but I have a product that I think that you will love. I have a present for a wonderful present uh, and a wonderful spray to you this night because I think that is the best seller in the um, um, place. I see, I, I name, yo le llamo, uh, the hunger I remove. The because what? if <laughs> the hunger remove, removedor de hambre. Are you going to ask why do you need that? Easy. I think that uh, sometimes we have a lot of things to do. Maybe uh, we are uh, working or we are um, studying with, our, with um, your son or with everybody. We, so uh, we need to more hours in our day. I think it, this is my case. So sometimes or all day, maybe you don't have a lot of time to take in um, lunch or taking a dinner because uh, you are very, very busy. So maybe you can use this spray. You need something like that in a small presentation or don't, something like that in a big presentation. So I, I, I can, well, and there, I can tell you, I can tell you. So just to need, when you uh, feel 
uh, a little uh, angry and maybe the food that is near to you is not your favorite or you don't have a lot of time or maybe I have a, a friend that uh, he can uh, eat um, something about tomatoes so because uh, the the food uh, with tomatoes uh, pro, um, produce 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 or produce, provokes, provokes. produce uh, allergic allergia and maybe i think that he can use something like that because if you in that moment you can't uh, take in something to eat maybe to can use this uh, spray in your environment and maybe in 20 minutes you lose the hunger and if you have a meeting and you need to eat but you don't something to eat near you can use something like that but remember you should use it in an, an emergency something uh, some solamente only only because uh, maybe you can uh, no you can uh, take some um, murders in your health because you don't need to use uh, frequently. But if you have an emergency, I can sell uh, this spray in a little presentation or this spray in a big presentation. That's it. Okay, well, very good. Very convenient. Convincing. Just let Estará me... en TV offer si lo quieren. Okay, okay, that's nice. Just hold on that, you know, for me, uh, writing with my left hand is a little bit hard. Okay, very well done. Very confident. I like that. Now, remember, Roxana, the product is called, or you can say, I named it, I named it, okay? Now, the big presentation, I just got a question. It's for chubby people or what? Because you show a big one. Come on, that's discrimination. It de no, it depends because uh, if you, sometimes I think that people maybe uh, can use that for a safe uh, calories okay. frequently, frequently. So maybe frequently. you- Frequently, frequently. frequently. Maybe uh, they are using a big presentation. It's not a showy pe person, no, no. Okay, cool. <laughs> now, provoke, provoke. Propose. Yeah, Yanira's is uh, the big one. Provoke, allergies, ah. allergies. <laughs> allergies. Frequently, frequently. Okay, thank you very much. Tell me, guys, is anybody else ready for the presentation? ¿Alguien más listo para la presentación? No? Okay, let's yes, see. Yes, so, I am. You yeah. are Marta. Me? Okay. Marta and Fernando. Just okay, eat, Marta. Michelle. Marta, me you're coming. viendo feo. Marta. One moment, I share my screen. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yep. Okay. Good evening, everybody. I am Marta, and um, this night I speak about the Trello. If you need to have a great product to organize the information for you and your team, uh, real time, Trello is the solution. Trello is application used for many companies. It's the most visual way for teams uh, to collaborate on any project. You need to create an account free for access, only fill, name, 
email and password. There are three versions. You can choose the version free with limit functionality. It's important platform allow always see with tool email our member or tie in different equipment. The functionality to help your team with event uh, world setting intuitive quickly and easy customization. The benefit of Trello is the to see all the project information and task assignment uh, of the uh, team anywhere. You can use tool for personal use and work. Any things do you want? First, you create a board. Second, you can add tasks or cards. Then, a setting for each task. Finally, verify right. tracking and um, move tasks in the dashboard. For the setting, you should apply different color label comments for more, for more visibility. For example, in each tag, you could attach document, members, checklist, do a day, and other setting. Each list contains cards that build building block the customization with the Trello dashboard ground from the with deadline for assignment tasks, productivity, metrics, calendars, and more. The cards contain everything that you need for management provide, track and feedback. You can move tasks finish in the block. I recommend check it application. What I am saying is that for Tice Night. Thank you for your attention. Good evening. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, 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 okay. Perfect. Thank you very much. A free account, Marta, and platform. 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 Okay, thank, thank you, you very Cheers. much. Now, uh, Fernando, please. Okay, um, I don't have a big presentation like Yanira. No necessary. <laughs> I, I had only my sexy voice. Okay. Cool, man. Uh, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Uh, Lately, our country has suffered a heat wave that has all, all desperate. Everywhere we see it a lot, especially in crowded places, uh, in poorly ventilated places, in our house, in the office, etc. And uh, air conditioning is expensive, and we can we cannot take it everywhere. So this day. I want to introduce you to a product that you can take everywhere and refresh yourself at all times. Uh, I present the mini manual fan. This is as an, an easy to use product, a very practical product and that we can take everywhere. It doesn't take got much space and it can help us a lot. Uh, it's small, it's cheap, it's gray, and it's of different colors. Uh, the best it has is its price. Just for one dollar, you can buy this wonderful pound. Uh, it is so cheap that you can buy one for each member of your family. Trust me, they will appreciate it, especially people who don't like it. Uh, buy your nails and take the heat away. Thank you. Okay, very good. Easy to the point. Okay, now, now, now. In your case, it was very good. You know, I like it. Very practical. Excellent, Fernando. Now, just one little thing. 
It comes in different colors. It's coming in different colors. Ah, okay. Viene en diferentes okay. colores. Yep. Okay, thanks, teacher. Oh, thanks to you. Very well done. Okay, now let's see. For Friday. On Friday, Ambar. See? Just give me a second, guys, but it takes me long to write. Friday. Friday goes. Ambar. I'm sorry, Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. Next Monday. Ambar. Sylvia. Let's see, Ambar, Sylvia, Francisco, Francisco, eh, Carlos, And Elvia. The rest of you go for Tuesday, okay? Okay, guys. So that means Fausto, Rita, Edward, Carla, and Walter. And Wilfredo go for Tuesday, okay? Okay, guys, let's continue. It was very well done. I like it. Me gustó. Very good. I like that fan, man. It's just that it's also good for exercise. You're going to be exercising your thumb. Okay, now, 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 guys. It comes the time for the grammar part. I am going to explain a grammar point to you. Okay? Okie dokie, grammar, 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 conditionals. Okay, let's see. The thing is this, we in the manual, we are going to talk about if and when, but I want you to get clear on what the conditionals are. Okay, and we are going to talk about the zero conditional, zero, remember. So, this conditional is used when the result will always happen. In fact, if water reaches 100 degrees, it always boils. It is a fact. I'm talking in general, not about one particular situation, okay? If water reaches 100 degrees, it always boils. We are talking about fact. It's like, uh, if I forget my anniversary, my wife is going to have a problem with me. You see? Yeah, like, like Roxana said, my hand. Okay, now let's continue. We talk about general truth, okay? If people eat too much, they get fat. If you touch a fire, you get burned. People die if they don't eat. If babies are hungry, they cry. Okay, for general facts, if you, let's see, let's see, let's see, participant. Ambar, what do we have here? Tell me. If you, if you eat, I, uh, if you eat yes, too, perfect. If you eat too much, you get you fat. get fat. Excellent. In this condition, if you notice, we got here. If you eat too much, you get fat. If you notice here, we in both cases the verb is in the base present form. Okay. If you eat too much, you get fat because we are talking about general fat. 
okay? It get perfect, Amber. Now, Carlos Antonio Murillo, if you if you hit water to one hundred percent, it Boiled. Boils. Remember, it's in simple present. Boils. Present simple. It boils. Thank you, Carlos. Now, Edward, if children. Edward Ademir. Yes, teacher. The children um, if children do not if children do not their parents they do not obey do not obey what the meaning obey teacher obedecer obedecer uh, if the children don't obey their parents they uh, they be usually punished they are oh they are they are sorry 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 they are they are usually punished they are usually punished perfect Let's check it out. Excellent. Now, Elvia, your turn. Is you have a headache, headache? You usually take an aspirin. Okay, let's check it out. Okay. If you have a headache, you usually take an aspirin. Perfect. Now, let's see, let's see. Fernando. Uh, if you sit in the sun too long, you get sunburn. Perfect. Sunburned. Yes, it's okay. If you sit in the sun too long, you get sunburn. Now, let's see. Francisco. Okay, teacher. Is if you not sleep, you know, you, oh, if you don't sleep, and now you feel tired. Perfect. If you don't sleep enough, enough, you enough. feel tired. Perfect. Now let's see. Carla. If you want to, su, su, no veo muy bien, teacher. Last. Okay, succeed. So it is sign you have to work hard. Okay, if you want to succeed in life, in fact, in life, you have to work hard. Perfect. Now let's see, Fausto. If you press the switch, uh, do you like? Um, come on. Okay. If you press that switch, the light come on. Comes on. Something that I want to remind you is this. In this case, we are talking about conditional sentences. 
Okay, let me explain a little bit of this. Uh, man, how do I do it? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, guys. Let's see if I can make it like this. Oh, okay. When we talk about conditional sentences, it's very important that we remember that the conditional sentence gets structured by using uh, clauses. Utilizamos algo que llamamos clauses. Okay. Clauses. Okay. Now, we have two types of clauses. I just think we have the conditional clause. Clauses are divided between the conditional and the result. Okay. Now, in this case, it's very important for us to remember that both clauses got got in the same tense. Ambas clauses van en el mismo tiempo verbal en este caso. Okay. So one expresses the condition, one expresses the result. The conditional always, always starts with if. La cláusula condicional siempre comienza con if. Okay. If, uh, let's see. If Fausto had this for the exam, that's the condition, right? If Fausto studies for the exam, then we get a comma. This comma is very important. Comma. He if Fausto studies for the exam, he gets good grades. I'm sorry, in this case, for the exams in general, because we are talking about general truth. Remember, aquí estamos hablando de verdades en general. Okay? Now, something very important. Let's see. Okay, now comes the time. Okay, if Fausto studies for the exam, this is one clause right here, okay? Which clause? This is the conditional clause. Now, and in this case, we have here the, oops, the result clause, you see? In the first one, we get if and then a simple present tense sentence. If Fausto studies for the exam, then the result, he gets good grades. In this case, when we are talking about this type, we can use instead of if, in este caso, solo en este caso en particular, instead of if, we can use when. Podríamos sustituir el if por when. Okay? When Fausto studies for the exams, he gets good grades. You see? It's the same idea, right? Si Fausto estudia para los exámenes, obtiene buenas notas. Cuando Fausto estudia para los exámenes, él obtiene buenas notas. Okay? We got condition, we got result. And remember, these are the two clauses. The conditional clause and the result clause. Now, I want you to notice something. Quiero que vean algo. Okay? We start our sentence like this. He gets. Oops. He gets good grades. If he studies. For the exam. In this case, if we start the condition, the conditional sentence with the result, si comenzamos la oración condicional, you see, with the result, there's no comma. No hay comma. You see? There's no comma here. No hay comma here. If we start the condition with the conditional clause, we divide them with a comma. If we start with the result, no comma at all. Questions? No 
No question up to here. Okay, vamos bien. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Any Teacher. time? Yes, Teacher. Tell me. In, in, in the result, when, when we start in the result, we change, uh, in, in sometimes we change if or because. No, no, no. In the no. condition. En la okay. condición no se puede cambiar. If or when. Okay. Okay. Now, when do you use it like that? Ahora bien, ¿cuándo lo usamos de esta manera? Okay. The idea is this. Uh, we use when for usual situations and if for unusual situations. Okay. Usamos el when para situaciones más comunes y el if para situaciones poco comunes. The difference is this. Listen again to the sentence. If Fausto studies for the exam, he gets, for the exam, he gets good grades. Okay? Cuando yo digo, if Fausto estudia para los exámenes, él obtiene buenas notas. Mm -hmm. Pero eso no es muy común. Fausto casi nunca estudia. I'm sorry, Fausto. Okay? Fausto casi nunca estudia. Now, Listen to this. When Fausto studies for the exams, he gets good grades. Oh, aquí ya está comprobado. Cuando él estudia para los exámenes, es un hecho. Lo tiene. Buenas notas. Ambas nos expresan hechos en general. La diferencia es que cuando digo el buen, estoy siendo como más, más cercano a la verdad. La cuestión es, a ver, perdón que use el español. Cuando yo utilizo el if, estoy hablando de algo que en inglés se conoce como contrary to fact. Algo que es contrario a la realidad. Okay. El if se utiliza más con el modo subjuntivo, cosas que no son reales, que no son verdad. En este caso, en especial, solamente en este caso se utiliza para decir verdades en general. Pero aún así, es más cercana, más usual, más común cuando yo uso el when que cuando uso el if. ¿Ok? If I behave, my wife gives me dinner. Si me porto bien, mi esposa me da cena. A veces. ¿Y sí? It's like, mm, ah, when I behave, my wife gives me dinner. Cuando me porto bien, me da cena. Ah, ¿qué estoy diciendo ahí? Que si no me porto bien, no, no. me da cena. You see? Very specific. You get the difference now? ¿Captamos la idea? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Oh, you're welcome. It's very interesting when we talk about conditionals, and you will have fun with conditionals. There are actually four different types of conditionals. Hay cuatro tipos conditionales. This is the zero conditional. Then you got the first conditional that is present on real. That is like, oh, if, if Roxana cooks dinner, look, listen to this. If Roxana cooks dinner, her husband is happy. If Roxana cooks dinner, her husband will be happy. Present real. Es presente y real. Si la condición se viese en el presente, el resultado se vería en el futuro. Then we have uh, past and real. The second type of condition. Luego tenemos el segundo tipo de opcional. If Roxana cooked dinner, her husband will be happy. Si Roxana cocinarse la cena, el esposo estaría feliz. She never does. You see? That's past. That's uh, no, sorry. El primer tipo es future possible, futuro posible. This is present and real. Si la condición se hubiese dado en un momento cercano al presente, el resultado se vería hoy en el presente. If Rosanna cooked dinner, her husband will be happy. And then we got the past on real. If Roxana has cooked 
dinner yesterday for Parents Day, for Father's Day, her husband would have been happy. That's closer to the way we speak. Esa es más cercana como pensamos nosotros en español. Si Roxana hubiese cocinado la cena el día del padre, el esposo habría estado feliz. But she didn't. Shame on you, Roxana. Those are the three, the four types of conditionals. But right now we are just going to work with the very first one that is the zero condition. Aquí se le conoce zero condition because actually we are talking about general facts. Okay? Aquí estamos hablando acerca de hechos en general. Like, uh, oh, when I shave, my wife is happy. She hates when, I, when I'm sporting a bird. Okay? So when I shave, my wife gets happy. You see? I hate shave. Can I continue? Is it clear? Preguntas? Question? Doubts? No? Okay, let's continue, guys. Okay, now let's see, let's see, let's see. This goes to uh, Marta and Avelinda. You do a lot of you stay. Fit. Perfect. If you do a lot of gym, you stay fit. Perfect. Now, Rita, your turn. When you fly budget airline, you have to pay for your drink and snacks. Uh, snacks. Yeah, that's true. When you fly budget airline, you have to pay for your drinks and snacks. That's true. And it's a long flight. Do you understand what is a budget airline? When you talk about a budget, budget airline, it's when you get in the in the cheapest possible. It's when we come on more barato. But sometimes I mean a, a flight that is like two hours can be like five hours because you go first to this country, then to another country, and then to your destination. And that's terrible. Okay, let me continue. Oops, I'm sorry. So remember, you have the condition divided by the comma, and then you have the result. Okay, Roxana, your turn. Roxana. Sorry. Uh, I can't see very well, but I try. Good. Good. Don't. I don't know. Well. Doesn't burn. Uh, doesn't. Burn. If, if there. Are not. Is. There is no air. If there is no air, la madera okay. no se quema y no hay aire. I'm sorry, it was the, it was about choosing of letters. Perdonen que escogí un mal tipo. De no, letras. es que se ve como borroso en mi pantalla. Lo comparte, pero no, no me aparece. Creo que a la mayoría oh, le pasa, no, no le carga muy bien. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Silvia, what about you? Can you see Silvia? Mm, yes, teacher. Um, if people don't eat, they people, people, if people, people if people don't eat, they die. If people oh. don't eat, they die. Perfect. Remember, guys, people is the plural of person. I think plural the person. Okay. That's why we use don. Very well done, Sylvia. Now let's see, Walter. Iron. 
iron, uh, rust, easy, if it, and gets, gets, gets when. when iron rust, uh, the hierro se oxida, if it gets wet, it's a moja, right? Now let's see, let's see. Wilfredo. <coughs> Ice. I think Wilfredo's got problem. Janita, please help me out. Ice float when you drops in water. When you drop it, when you drop, drop it, it in water. Drop it water. Ice floats when you drop it in water. Perfect. Now, just to remind you, remember, I was talking about the zero conditional and then we got the first conditional. It is used to talk about things which might happen in the future, of course. We can know what will happen in the future, but this describes possible things which could easily come true. If it rains, I won't go to the park. That's a fact, right? If it rains, I won't go to the park. You see, the condition is in the present. If the condition becomes true in the present, the result will happen in the future. If I have enough money, I'll buy some new shoes. If you help me, I will help you. If you tell us the truth, the truth, we will forgive you. Yeah, whatever. Unless, if not, you'll be sick unless you stop eating. Unless means if not. Unless, unless means if not. Okay? You will be sick if you don't stop eating. You'll be sick unless you stop eating. These two sentences mean the same. Okie dokie. So the conditionals are very interesting, right? And, and actually next class, we are going to work more with the conditional. We are, we are going to do more exercises, okay? That means that for Monday, Monday I will, I will not focus that much on the explanation of the condition, but we are going to ha be having conversations using the zero condition, okay? Because that's what I want you to do, to practice. And you will realize that it's easy, okay? Because when we get into the grammar, it becomes like mm, a little bit complex. Now, uh, the advertising time, the moment of anuncio, perdón, cambio español, eh, Recordatorio, se les envió a todos el correo, todos lo recibimos, de correo sobre la encuesta de satisfacción. Ya sabemos que se la realizamos el día martes, la realizan junto conmigo. Please, vamos a tener mucho cuidado. No sé si les pusieron en el correo un videito también donde explicaba el cómo. Yes, teacher. Oh, ok, Francisco ya lo vio. Nice. Este, ahí está un videito que nos explica cómo, pero aún así no lo tenemos. Lo que sucede es esto, el SAPOR solo nos está permitiendo de, de todo el cúmulo de personas que tenemos en todos los cursos, una pequeña, mínima, ínfima cantidad de posibles errores. O sea que no vamos a poder repetir si nos equivocamos en algo. Y debemos ser cuidadosos. ¿Por qué? Porque recuérdense que es obligatorio el tener la encuesta de satisfacción correctamente llena para poder escribir el siguiente no la tiene registrada correctamente, no puede inscribir. ¿Ok? Así que lo vamos a hacer juntos. No se preocupen, vamos a tener el tiempo suficiente. En este tipo de actividades yo me tomo todo el tiempo del mundo para hacerlo. Por eso les he avanzado un poquito con las condicionales para que avancemos rápido el lunes. Podamos avanzar con parte del contenido del martes y el martes tener el tiempo suficiente para hacerla con calma, bien hecha y que nadie tenga ningún contratiempo. Okay, now let me please get the attendance one last time. Déjenme tomar la asistencia una última vez. Ambarelli Alfaro. 
Present teacher. Andrea Beatriz Rendero Silvian. Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Present teacher. Elvia Chanel Beltrán de Cabrera. Present teacher. Pauso Antonio Landaver de López. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Jocelyn Alexandra Fuentes Martínez. Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas. Present teacher. Leslie Fernández Ochoa. Walter, uh, uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Linda Marlene Acosta Barrera. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Marta Patricia Díaz González. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Present teacher. Roxana Iveta Asuncio de Mejía. Present, present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. <coughs> Yanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Present teacher. Ok, guys. Algo más que tengo que mencionarles es tengo una persona en el grupo que ya lo voy a escribir, que no me ha hecho la tarea 3 y... El midterm, algunos de ustedes no me lo terminaron, me dejaron con el 70%, el 70 o el 80%. Este, solamente son tres personas, voy a tratar de ayudarles. Eh, por favor, avancemos en la plataforma lo más que podamos. Vamos a adelantar, por eso les explico un poquito de las conditionals. Si podemos adelantar, sería mucho que mejor para que no tengamos pleito, porque recuerden que el martes. Se supone que ese día usted tiene que haber terminado el final exam. O sea, de martes a medianoche yo tengo que subir las notas del final exam. So we are against time. Estamos contra tiempo. But if you have any question, as soon as you get into the exercise, please ask me. Si tienen preguntas, comentémoslas en el grupo. Si yo no le contesto, estoy seguro que más de algunos de este grupo es especial que ustedes ayudan rapidísimo. So sure. let's do it. Teacher. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Any questions? Teacher. Yes. Yes. Eh, yes. Yes. Creo que todavía no han arreglado la pregunta número dos del, del. Sí. Tenemos el problema con la con la con el servidor. No. Con... Sí. Somos servidores. Bueno, es que la plataforma está en. No nos está permitiendo acceso y estamos peleando con eso tan pronto. Espero <coughs> que este fin de semana ya esté listo para co para comentarles porque se está trabajando en ello. Las compañeras están trabajando. Pero Solo la pregunta no nos va a ser un fallo. Sí, pero por esa no, pregunta no juro, no, no. podemos no, avanzar no. Con, con el resto del ejercicio. Okay? Thank you very much, guys. See you Monday. Take care. Have a good night. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.
Best. Yes. Uh, uh, well, look, Walter, something that I would like you to, to, to work on, is in the, well, uh, in, the, in these two classes that are coming, I will push you to speak a little bit more. Of course, I can tell, I can tell that you have advanced a lot. Because uh, your listening and understanding is very good. For, because you were with me in basic one, right? Okay. Yeah, but from there to now, I can see your advances. Puedo ver sus avances. They are very good. Este, voy a hablar un poquito en español, teacher. No problem, no problem. Uh, este, fíjate que de los teachers que he tenido, siento que en sus clases me ayuda mucho. Le voy a explicar algo. Eh, yo, sinceramente, estudié eh, lo de bachillerato en inglés. Estoy hablando del 2001 que yo salí. Desde entonces yo no había practicado. En la empresa me tocaba ver SPEC, que con el tiempo aprendía a, a leerla, sabía que me decía hacia abajo, hacia arriba. Este, este bordado no es así en inglés, pero lo lograba entender un poco. Pero yo he vuelto a estudiar inglés hasta hoy que, que me he metido en esta plataforma, que tengo cinco cruzando el quinto módulo. Entonces yo quisiera ver cómo me dijera usted, puede decirme, mira, Walter. Hace esto para que te mejore más, o que me llene, o que me empate, o que repita, o que ande algo, no sé, para que yo me vaya metiendo un poco más para poder hablar, okay. para poder memorizar. Well, porque all, porque la, la, need... mayor, no, excuse me, la mayoría de, 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 de alumnos que nosotros, con los que yo estoy, por lo que yo logro ver, Wilfredo, Silvia, son como seis o siete, yo he logrado platicar con ellos cuando estamos en, en, en los grupos que nos sacan. Eh, y ellos me han dicho que la mayoría de ellos han estudiado un año en, en una academia, otro hasta año y medio. Entonces, yo logro ver que ellos están un poco más arriba de nosotros por esa diferencia. No me voy a poner a la par de ellos, pero quisiera poder un poquito hablar un poquito más. Ok, sí, yeah, sure, sure. Bueno, well, look, first of all, para comenzar, uh, let's see. Ok, aquí. Look, aquí estamos en la plataforma de educativo, yes. en el curso suyo, ¿ok? Yes. Right? Se mira okay. un poquito borroso, pero sí sé que eso es. Vale. Abajo le aparece una opción que dice centro de ayuda. Ah, ok. En centro de ayuda, usted se viene aquí, aparece, mire, de aplicaciones, descarga, plataforma, ¿ok? Yes. Ah, estábamos. Oh, aquí abajo. Se viene hasta abajo y hay recursos académicos. Ok. Aquí donde está recursos académicos, usted encuentra información de gramática, de pronunciación, de vocabulario y encuentra clases de las que nos están Ok. Pero me gustaría que pueda trabajar con grammar, pronunciation and vocabulary. Hello, sí. And... Sí, es necesario. My person, myself. Por ahorita. Eh... Yeah. In the moment, you have time. You have time yeah. to practice. Uh -huh. I had a, I had a time practice. Okay, we are yes, going it's... to we are going to take advantage of that time. Vamos a tomar ventaja de ese de ese tiempo. Don't worry. And uh -huh. see, yes, it's true. Iba a ver que que podemos hacer algo. Don't worry. No okay. Um, my my propósito es is and the finish the the course the interval e myself and speaking in English uh, a lot of a lot of better a lot better a, a lot much better. better you can say much better oh much better much better and my purpose to in myself, in my myself. My purpose. My purpose. Yeah, my no, pur and, it's, and it's good. It's good. I mean, it's always good to, to, to try <laughs> to become a better student, to try to become better at something and a skill. And 
I mean, you are doing good and I know it's hard. And I can notice that, yeah, you say you have not studied uh, in academics nor stuff like that. Uh -huh, yes, yes. But you are coming along well. Pero si no está trabajando bien. You can check out also something that can help you review the classes. Repase las clases. You get access to the video conference. Tiene acceso a todas las videoconferencias que ya hemos tenido. Sí, sí, que hay veces lo que me pasa es que tal vez no tengo internet. Se me ha acabado en el teléfono. Y a veces no le meto mucho porque como me toca pagar plan y todo. Pero no, no, no es importante. Lo que le quiero decir es de que, fíjese que yo, yo estoy estudiando esto porque un amigo me, me invitó. Y digamos, por decirlo en pocas palabras, me metí como decimos nosotros los salvadoreños de gorra. Pero yo pienso a ti eh, que en algún momento esto... It could be helpful. Yeah, it could Excuse be helpful. Me. Le podría ayudar. <laughs> ok, ok. Eh, eso es sí, lo que le, yo Pero puede, ahora, ahora que yo ya, Hoy que yo ya entré, digo yo, ahora ya lo tomo con un poquito más de seriedad. ¿va? Y digo yo, va a haber algún momento que esto me va a servir y si no voy a encontrar un trabajo donde me, me voy y, y acuérdense que uno de los trabajos llega poco a poco va. Poco a poco pudiera volver a desenvolverme, a meterme de lleno. Pero hoy sí, sí mi right. propósito, mi propósito era aprender, aprender, aprender a hablar más. Yeah. I mean, now, now you can, you can really say, Walter, if you go to a job interview, si usted va a una entrevista de trabajo, and they yeah. ask you, do you know English? You can say, oh, I have a basic level of English. Usted puede decir, tengo un nivel básico de inglés. And it's true because you can speak. Not at a big level, but you yeah. can speak, you can communicate. I mean, you're doing good. Vamos bien. This yeah. is a big effort, but keep on. I mean, Insafor is giving you the opportunity. Insafor is giving you the opportunity. Yes, yes. Because yes. You, are not, you are not paying for it. So, I mean, it's an effort. It's a big effort. I know. It's a grand esfuerzo. It's two hours every day and it's heavy. But, yes. I mean, Keep being constant, steady as you are, manténgase así constante como viene hasta el momento, practicing without fear, sin temor, okay? okay? Like you are. Don't worry if you make a mistake. That's why we are here as teachers to help you. No se preocupe si se equivoca, para eso estamos los profesores acá, para ayudar. Okay? okay? Keep on, Walter. You are doing good, pretty good. Keep on, keep on practicing, be in all the classes, and you will feel, I know for sure that you feel the result. Estoy seguro que cuando usted entró a básico uno, al nivel que está ahorita, usted siente la diferencia. Yes, teacher, yes. And uh, the, the moments in my work, it, uh, in the practice, in vocabulary, uh, I did in my mail, see in the practice, in my mail, uh, for the moment, repeat uh, and, and voice, and voice. How do you say alta? And alta. Yes, <laughs> for the I, moment, solo no. in my name. Okay. Usted lo dice así, mire. I think, pienso, yes. out loud. Yes, yeah. yeah. out loud es en voz alta. Uh, out loud, okay. Out loud. Y en mi mente es in my mind. In my mind. In my mind. Okay. okay. No, uh, but uh, continue. Uh, continue uh, as you uh, are. In my computer, I listen to music uh, uh, only English. Only English. Okay. There, what I would recommend you to do is this. Ahí lo que le recomendaría si tiene tiempo a escuchar una que otra cancioncita, una o dos. Get the song, ponga la canción, búsquele que ponga ahí lyrics, pero que solo en inglés la letra. Yes. ¿Para qué? Usted puede ser que no entienda lo que dice la canción, pero para que su oído se acostumbre a oír ah, las escucha. palabras en inglés. Yes, poco yes, a poco, yes. si usted puede, si usted puede comenzar a tratar de pronunciarlas, es mejor. Porque usted va a estar escuchando, leyendo y reproduciendo al mismo tiempo. Eso le va a dar más soltura. 
le va a ayudar a mi sí. la conducir. A mí, a mí me gusta My Love in the, in the Music eh, eh, de los uh, 18. 80. Yeah. Good music. Yeah. Oh, Elton John, Nazareth. Eh. Yeah. And that's true Sorry. because those ones are very clear. Esos son buenos porque son muy claros, ¿entiendes? Ah, yes, yes. Yo de tanto escucharla hay muchas que ya, ya más o menos la pronuncio y ahí me voy. Ahí por el momento los compañeros dicen, este es loco algún día que ya va a aprender. <laughs> Como me voy a encantar bastante. Yo no, no, you will. will. It's for oh, sure. You are learning. Ya está aprendiendo. Keep on doing it. Mantenga okay. así. Si cualquier duda, I am here to help you, okay? Lástima, Pricho, que no nos pueden dar consecuencia en, en cada módulo. Fíjese que cada profesor tiene su diferencia. No, no le voy a decir que, no, que son malos. No le voy a decir que son malos. Es, no, pero realmente fíjese que también es bueno el que nos cambie. Es bueno que nosotros continuamos porque le damos secuencia, pero también es bueno que cambiemos porque ustedes se acostumbran a un acento a diferentes acentos. Entre los profesores que he tenido, le voy a decir, hay a uno que casi no le entiendo mucho, es uno barbudito, me olvida el nombre. Además, yo he tenido sí, cuatro con usted, Silvia, otra teacher, una, una chelita que también se le entiende, pero es bien rápido. Pero lo que me gusta de esta clase con usted es que usted todos los días en la noche Hey, how was your day in your work? How was your day in your house? What are you planning uh, the weekends? Uh, eso lo hace que uno intente hablar. Y con nosotros es, es menos. Pero para mí es bastante importante eso de tener la práctica. No worry. Así. We will keep on practicing. Vamos Congratulations, teacher. <laughs> okay. Uh, thanks uh -huh. to you. Well, oh. see you Monday. Have a good weekend. Uh, yes, see you Monday, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye. Take care. Have a good night. The same to you, my friend.